This is a very factoidy question. However, it's assessed on the NBMEs. So I'm obviously not gonna say which NBME it is. We're not gonna interfere with your precious score. Don't worry. Uh, but before we get started, if you are new to my channel, I really appreciate you stopping by. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you are not new to my channel and, and you haven't hit the subscribe button, why the fuck haven't you? Okay, so let's get on with that. And hit the like button. Really appreciate it. Let's get this to all-time highs. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Now let's start the question. 48-year-old guy, two-week history, personality change, increasing confusion, no significant past medical history, vitals are normal, complete blood count, normal, enzyme analysis, normal, works in a factory that produces rifles, hobbies include gardening. We have a photograph here of the fingernails showing us what appears to be leukonychia, which just means white discoloration of the fingernails, although we're not sure what it could be, right? It's just leukonychia. There's many causes as per the literature. So questions just asking, toxicity due to which the following? Let's just go backwards for the sake of it. Choice F, 2,4, dinotrophenol, wrong fucking answer. This on the US simile, the only thing you need to know is that this can be used to clean wood and it's an electron transport chain slash mitochondrial uncoupling agent, which means it can result in excess production of heat. Okay, but it's the wrong answer in this case. Organophosphate poisoning, also wrong. This is high yield for U.S. Simile for those who work on farms, who pick fruit. Uh, they want you to know that it's not uh, acquired, toxicity is not acquired via aerosol. It's acquired via contact through skin. That's literally a question on one of the NBMEs. It's just A through D, very difficult. And it's just uh, wearing gloves, okay? It's not mask. It's, uh, it's wearing gloves will prevent transmission. Or, uh, or prevent the acquisition of it. So organophosphate, um, this is going to give you pinpoint pupils, muscarinic findings, okay, dumbbells, diarrhea, urination, meiosis, which is pupillary constriction, bronchodilation, sorry, bronchodilation, what the fuck am I saying? Bronchoconstriction, bradycardia, uh, excitation, neuromuscular, lacrimation, salivation, sweating, okay? And then anti-muscarinic, the opposite. And uh, we treat with atropine, blocks muscarinic receptors, and followed by pralidoxime. Do not choose pralidoxime before, atrop before atropine. That's on one of the offline NBMEs where they give both. Atropine's correct. Pralidoxime, wrong answer. Pralidoxime regenerates acetylcholinesterase. Organophosphate poisoning can also be the answer if they tell you a girl drank a liquid in her dad's shack. Very vague, okay, but a dad... Uh, a guy has a, a, sh a shack of some kind, a wood shop, and a girl drinks a fluid, and she has uh, dumbbells, that's organophosphate poisoning, often uh, uh, consumed in suicide attempts. Lead toxicity, wrong answer. Lead can cause leukonychia, okay? And you might say, well, he works in a factory. Like, couldn't that be a cause as well? But it's notable that he has a unremarkable enzyme analysis. The enzyme analysis is normal. Lead inhibits ferrochelatase. It also inhibits delta ALA dehydratase, okay, in the heme synthesis pathway. And lead classically can cause a microcytic anemia. This guy's complete blood count is normal. That's really, really, really high yield and, and overlooked by students. Lead toxicity questions and basophilic stipling, even though they didn't do a smear here. But it should be noted that they are not going to just give you a two-year-old who's been eating paint chips and his family moved into a new house. Okay, it's too easy. They'll give you an adult who has a microcytic anemia, might have neuropathies. Okay, high yield for lead. Iron toxicity, U.S. simile will give you GI bleeding. Okay, and in pediatrics, if there's a kid who consumes a bottle of pills, we're not sure what the pills are. You can actually do a chest x-ray if you think it's iron uh, because it because of the metallic content can be visualized. Should be noted that iron deficiency can cause coilonychia, spoon-shaped nails, and also leukonychia. It is one of the causes, but it's not our answer here. Beryllium, wrong answer. This is classically seen those, it's a pneumoconiosis causes restrictive lung disease in those with in an aeronautical industry. 
it's granulomatous. Uh, they'll throw into vignettes that patient has lung disease. They'll say there, there's no granuloma seen on biopsy, implication being it's not Borreliosis. Arsenic, okay, magical. Our last answer here, this is correct. So arsenic is used in many fertilizers. Gardeners are the ones who have increased risk of exposure, okay? Small amounts of arsenic and fertilizer can cause plants to flourish. The presentation due to toxicity is multifarious, okay? It can be neuropathies, encephalopathy, GI disturbance, and classically Mies lines, M-E-E-S lines, okay? Leukonychia. If you look up leukonychia, literally a million fucking causes. Liver disease, as we said, iron, lead, okay? And also arsenic. But we have a gardener who has leukonychia, Mies lines, and as we already eliminated lead because there's no enzyme uh, abnormalities here, okay? So we can go on a lengthy discussion about all of the high yield toxicities, okay? And uh, give a lot of juicy detail. I know you guys want me to keep these clips otherwise concise. So you know the deal, I'm gonna make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I really appreciate your time. That's it.